Hey everybody. Well, <laughs> I almost didn't make it. Uh, I was going to try and do this out in the garage and I just said no. 105 out there. I was absolutely wringing wet. There wasn't a dry hair on my head. So we've moved to the kitchen and I ran to Home Depot, which it really doesn't matter. Y'all wouldn't care if you seen my kitchen or not. But uh, I had been wanting to make me a fake wall anyway. So what I did is I, as you can see, that's PVC pipe. And I made me a fake wall. And it works just fine. So I'm going to use it later. And um, that way at least, you you know, that back there won't catch your attention. And so <clears throat> what I'm going to be doing, and I'm not sure how this is going to work as far as viewing. Because it's completely different from my normal setup. So, but we'll see. Um, I'm going to be doing... Let me move the camera down where you can see. This is a desk, and I am going to be applying Jennifer Ferguson's Artsyville Embellishment Texture Medium. And I am going to be using the Crock Roller. Okay. And then I am going to use Miss Lillian's Copper Metallic Paint. Isn't that a beautiful color? And then I haven't decided if I'm going to use the tobacco uh, gel stain or Miss Lillian's Antiquing Glaze in the Ebony. Hadn't made that decision yet. Um, and then I'm going to show you this one over here, which I've already done. And it was done in a demo. And it was using the texture medium and I absolutely went, went blank on this roller, but I'll look it up and post it so that y'all will know. And this is the one that I used on there. And I had put a glaze and I thought, okay, I want to be, I want to do a little more to it. So I'm going to use metallic paint as well on it, but I didn't know if I wanted to use the cashmere or the bow peak. So maybe y'all can help me choose between the cashmere and the bow peep, and then I'm going to do a glaze over it. But I wanted y'all to kind of see what that looked like after you use the roller. And I applied it. Normally you can do it with a trowel or whatever, but I just used the rubber spatula like this, and I put it on thin, and I just drug it like this, which I'll show you on the table here, because I wanted some of the underneath color to show and kind of give it a little bit of depth. So, um, do y'all want to see some of the uh, redesigned stuff that I got in this week? It was on my porch and I got in the other day. These are gonna be some of the new molds. Is that not gorgeous and look how big they are huge I love that this is another one and this is just a few this isn't all of them and then here's one another one quite a good selection and uh Let's see, what else goodies? We got, um, look at this stencil, the brick. Is that not, that is huge. Absolutely huge. It's bigger, it's wider across than I am. It is so big. And then this is what it looks like finished. I know there's a glare on there from the lights, but isn't that cool? I think that is so pretty. And then this is another one of the stencils. And let's see, it is 8 inches by 22 inches. And then this kind of gives you an idea of what it will look like on the front of a dresser. Isn't that pretty? Very pretty. That's just the, some of the stuff I just wanted to kind of tease you all about. And I'll have this listed on the website uh, probably the latter part of next week. And I'm going to Mountain Home uh, this weekend. Um, hi, Becky. To uh, see uh, some family and some friends. And I'm going to hang out with uh, Kathy Stoltzberry. And we're going to play a little bit. And these are some of the pavers. We're going to play with those as well. 
turn it right side up. Aren't those pretty? I just love those. I know we used to do that several years ago. My uh, cousin and I got out and done them in the yard. Okay, I'm going to move this so that y'all can see. Oh, I forgot to show y'all one. It's really cool. This is another one. Look at this. Is that not pretty? Um, I already told Kathy I had an idea for this one. I just don't know if we can um, pull it off, if we're going to have time enough to do it. But I'm hoping that we do. But we'll see. And you know what? That would really be pretty. My idea is like on a canvas and um, do a skip trowel method on it and not pull it all the way through. That would be pretty as well. I like a mixed media type thing. You know, I don't even know what the best way is going to be to do this since I'm in a different location. So that y'all can see. Just ignore the kitchen sink there. Tell you what, I'll get on the other side. And I... Uh, haven't got my computer running, so I'm not sure if I can see who all is on or answer any of the questions. But whenever I'm through, I will answer all of your questions. I was trying to bring up the screen, make sure I'm on. Okay, there I am. I know that's silly because you know that you, you think anyway that's where you are. So I'm just, and it's kind of like marshmallow cream. So I'm just going to get some out. And I should have put some in a plate. And I think what I'm going to do is normally I would have taped off here. But I think I'll just take a rag and wipe it off if I get any on there. And this may be a two-night process. We may not, and the reason I chose to do this top is because you can see that it's got a big indention here, and um, I thought this would be a great way to cover it up, is to do the crock finish on it. And I don't believe I have demoed Jennifer Ferguson's Artsyville Texture Medium yet. I know I did in a demo for a group of ladies and gents here a while back. But I haven't done one on here. But it's very creamy. Like I said, it, it feels and looks just like marshmallow cream. And I think it's going to be okay. I don't mind if some of the underneath is showing through. Because I didn't mind on the table. In fact, I really liked it, and that's what I was trying to go for. And I don't want it real thick because whenever you roll the roller through, it will cause it to peak. And then that's just going to make more work for you for sanding. But this is very easy to work with, it's not hard at all. I know one thing, it sure is nice being in here where there's air conditioner. Poor Bobby, he just kind of rolls his eyes and goes on whenever I tell him what I'm doing. Once I get those edges, it won't take long to, to get the rest of this. See, there was a pretty good indention there, but once I run the crock roller over it, you'll never even see it. And that won't be hard to get off once I... And what I'll do 
is I think I will probably put the uh, copper on the edges, the copper metallic paint of Miss Lillian's, and then I'll glaze it so that it will blend in with the rest of the top. trying to keep an eye on the camera to make sure that y'all can still see so that if I get to a place where you can't, well, I'll stop and move. But as y'all can see, I'm not being real particular. I'm just getting it on. Um, and it doesn't take much either. And the fun part is whenever you start rolling. And, and amazing what the rollers do and you don't have to be real particular about that you know you don't have to make sure that it's you know rolling the same way or like whenever you roll it and you get to the end and you want to start again you don't have to make sure that it is in the same position as whenever you left the table with the roller if that makes any sense Like I said, I don't really mind the dark showing through because I am going to be using a dark glaze. Let's get this down where y'all can see. And if I give you a good jolt, we'll... I had gotten so hot a while ago, I really didn't even think I was going to be able to do this. And I thought, no, I told everybody I would be here Monday, so... I hear somebody's phone ringing. It must be Bobby's. Probably a solicitor. Do y'all get very many of those? Oh my gosh, they drive us insane. And if you block them, it just makes it worse, I think. Y'all see my wall, it moves. Isn't that cool? I can't set that on the table, that's for sure. All right, y'all, we are almost to the end. And I'm not sure if this will be dry in time to apply the metallic paint, but that's why I thought, well, I have that table ready. In fact, I was actually thinking about using the foil, but I really haven't got to use the uh, metallic paints of Miss Lillian's very much lately, so I thought, well, I'll just do metallic. Just a little bit more right there. I'm talking about hot, I'm even hot standing here, but oh, I guess I could turn the ceiling fan on, but. All right, I think we're ready to do the roller. All right, let me see. I'm going to scoot y'all back just a tad. Because I really want y'all to see the beginning of where I start. Let me roll this up just a little bit.
Howdy, Sandra. <laughs> Sandra's the only name I can see from where I'm standing. Okay, so you, what you're going to do is you're going to start, and two, something that um, I should have a long handle, but I couldn't find my long handle, so I'm using a short one. But sometimes if your roller is not balanced right, it may give you a little issue, but I don't think this will. So we're going to fly with it anyway. And you just start. Is that not just the coolest thing ever? And you don't have to worry about starting, you know, or where your roller ends or where it starts. And so you, if you mess up and you don't like it, you just take your um, spatula, your rubber, rubber spatula, and just smooth it back out and go over it again. And, and right here, I don't know if y'all can see that. I don't think you can because of the camera. But there is a... Let me move it so that y'all can see that. Okay, right here, there isn't any. So all I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna start on the edge and pull it that away. And see, it puts some, so it's fine. Okay, and right there, I didn't get any, so I'm gonna put it right there. See, it doesn't have to be absolutely perfect. And what I'm gonna do is I'm, I have a bucket in here and I'm just gonna take and put this in a bucket and then let it soak. And then I'll just take a chip brush and I'll wash it really well. And then set it out and let it dry. But I can do it in a bucket. I don't wanna put this and let it go down. Go down your drying. All right, so I'm gonna get me a baby wipe and do the edges. Baby wipes are your best friend in painting. I can't, I can't do without them. As most of y'all know, I also use them to remove all my makeup as well. And to prepare, uh, all I did was uh, I used Miss Lillian's uh, first step and washed the table off really well. First, I used 50-50 uh, vinegar and water, washed it really well, and then I used Miss Lillian's uh, first step. Sprayed it on, wiped it off in circular motions. I should have shown you all that because it is amazing how much residue that that removes. Okay, let me get one more. Go ahead and get that all wiped off. Now see, all we're going to have to do is wait and let this dry, and then we will use the um, copper, uh, Miss Lynn's copper metallic paint on it, let that dry, and then um, I'm actually thinking about using the gel stain tobacco uh, because I want it to really be dark down in those crevices, and I'll put it on with a chip brush, and then I'll uh, wipe it off. But... We will do that tomorrow night if we do not get it finished. Okay, I am going to move you all over here to this table. And what do y'all think? Should we do the cashmere or the bow peep? Any suggestions? It would be quite helpful. No. No. <laughs> Y'all are not going to help. All right, let's see then. Maybe we'll do the cashmere. That's a really pretty color. See, isn't that pretty? It's really, the lighting in here is not the best as it was out in there. Cashmere. Me too. <laughs> okay, that's what we're going to do. All right.
and I'll roll y'all down just a little bit where you can see a little bit closer. And I really don't want to touch this other table, which it wouldn't matter because if I mess it up, I would just smooth it out and um, do it again. Okay, I'm gonna, my favorite paper plates. Very pretty color. And I'm not going to be real particular about going, getting it on uh, or the brush marks. I'm not worried about that because I really don't think I'm going to have any. And I'm not going to be real concerned if I get a complete 100% coverage. And I really love... Um, this roller of Jennifer's and I can't believe because whenever I saw her use it I had to have one and now I can't remember what the name of it is and I was going to go look and I forgot or I was, I was busy out there in the garage and that's whenever I said nope not going to happen out there tonight as you can see, I'm really not being particular about how this goes on. Uh, I just want to get it on. Oh, that is, hmm, that is pretty. That's a beautiful color. That is really going to be pretty with, uh, actually, I am thinking about, hmm, I wonder what a whitewash I think that would be pretty. What do y'all think? Or should I stick with the dark glaze? Ooh, a smoke glaze would be pretty as well. Or the white cottage gel stain. I, that's coming. I don't. I'm out of that. And then I will paint uh, the bottom half later. But I was kind of concerned about using the Texture Magic because of the crack on the table. But, you know, all I did was just take a knife and it come right out. And there's no issue with the table closing or opening on the leaves. So, that worked out okay. And I think I just threw some paint under the refrigerator. Wow, that is very pretty. Get some more. How's everybody doing tonight? You have it. Oh, okay, Sandra. Hey, Joe, how are you? Now, the metallics, if I'm doing them on, let me move around over here. Um, a lot of times, and also, whenever you move, the color sheen changes a variation. It's it's just unbelievable. I love it. Um, I will use a sponge roller. Or I'll use a good two-inch chip brush as well. Me and my wall are... And what I'm doing is I am just barely, whenever I'm going back over, I am just barely tipping that and letting the bristles. And you'll be amazed that how it takes the brush marks out, even though it is just a cheap chip brush.
Oh, and also, I wanted to let everyone know that um, if you want more information about Miss Lillian's uh, products, uh, check out her uh, Paint University, Miss Lillian's Paint University, and ask to join. And they're uh, starting with, we're just starting with basic product info that are about oh, 10 seconds, uh, 10 seconds. Well, that would be fast, wouldn't it? <laughs> uh, 10 minutes and under. Great information. Y'all, that is really, I don't know. I think I have played a little bit with this color. I haven't really used, used this color. I haven't used the Bo Peep yet either. The rest of them, I think I've pretty much used all of them. But I would like to find a little girl's desk and use the uh, Bo Peep on that. And maybe do some stenciling or something on it. That would be pretty. And if there's anyone out there that... Um, is, would like to order products or anything and you don't live close by just uh, my dot com site is there and if there's something that I don't have listed that you would like for me to try and get send me a message and I will do my best and I've got to figure out something to do with my my cracked uh, metal Smith jug that I did the other day since I broke it. Um, that needs just a little bit more right there. Okay, now we are going to have to wait on the other. I thought about getting a dryer and uh, trying to dry this over here, but I really don't want to do that. So that will just give us something to do tomorrow night. Although I usually don't do anything on Tuesdays, but um, I think I will because I, I, I really like for y'all to see this. It's one of my favorite finishes is the crock finish. Um, all right, I'm going to pull this out so y'all bear with me because I'm going to let y'all see a close-up of that. And I hope that y'all can tell with the different sheen as I move it around, how different it looks. That is really hard to do, y'all. But anyway, I wanted y'all to see, and then this is the croc up close. Pretty cool, huh? But as you can see, the peaks right here, uh, that's why you don't want it real thick because it'll really uh, pull them up as the roller runs through. And then that just causes you to have to do more work. So I just want y'all to see an up close of that. And um, I appreciate everybody stopping by. And can you believe I'm hot? <laughs> and it's air conditioner in here. Hey, Emily. I haven't seen you in a long time. I hope you're doing well. And Barbara, good to see you here too. I can only see three. Um... I wish I had a bigger screen. <laughs> Listen, y'all, I really do appreciate y'all coming in and uh, spending time with me and uh, appreciate if you share um, with your friends what I do. I really do appreciate it very much. And so I am fixing to get off of here and clean my mess up and take down my fake wall. I appreciate it, y'all. Have a good evening. Bye, y'all. Oh, thank you, Barbara. <laughs> <laughs> that you should have seen Bobby whenever I told him what I was going to do. He, he just kind of shook his head like, okay. Well, hey, Kim, how are you, Miss Grandma? <laughs> um, what I did is I just went and got some PVC pipe, okay? And I can take it apart in just no time. I can set it up. I can take it down. But that way, it's not the kitchen area, the stove and all that is not a distraction while I'm, you know, trying to show y'all stuff. So, but anyway, listen, I'm going to get off here so I can get cleaned up and go get a shower. And I, again, I appreciate y'all very much. Y'all have a blessed evening. Bye, y'all.